Welcome to uh, Bright Spark Ideas. This is uh, number two in a series of videos showing you how I built this off grid mobile system. And um, it's part of uh, three videos, and hopefully, it will be interesting uh, and informative. Um, and you'll stay with me for all three videos. Well, welcome back. Um, as you can see, I've pretty much put this together now, and I'm really pleased with how this all came together. Um, I love this grow what. This is really easy to put together. Um, everything about it was robust. Uh, the terminals here for the connections for the power were really uh, nice and easy to put together. Um, to connect and um, nice strong terminals. Um, I might uh, change the thickness of the uh, cable for the solar, uh, but uh, right now I want to get this up and running and tested. Um, battery terminals in here were nice and strong. Um, so my Anderson is here for a disconnect because as I said this is a mobile device and that's my way of completely removing this board so that I can move it around separate from the roller base. Um, the breaker for now is going to be my switch on and off for the battery. I'm probably going to add uh, this switch here that I mentioned earlier but this is probably going to go down in the battery box um, and I'll uh, show you that section when I get this down in the basement. So power out is through the circuit breaker. There's a 20, um, 20, 20 amp um, uh, circuit breaker here and that is going to go, uh, so on this side it goes out to the power out. Now the power in from the grid is coming in through here and that's going through a 40 amp um, breaker uh, into the box. So it's pretty basic, pretty straightforward, very easy to put together. Um, there are so many really, really good videos out there um, showing you how to do all this stuff. Um, as I said, Will Prowse is, is my go-to uh, guy uh, for, for that. Um, Ian at Grow What is a great source of information. Uh, once again, that is 247watt.com. Um, and um, let me just say one more thing. I haven't shown you a lot about connections and things like that because I'm assuming you guys already know how to do that. Um, but I do want to just show you a little bit about this crimping tool because I've struggled with crimping in the past and um, I must admit I've tried to even crimp Andersons and uh, I've gone back to my old soldering method because these big uh, Andersons do not crimp well but if you bear with me I'll set this up and show you how I did a crimp on here and how nice it looks and um, if you're bored um, I'm apologize, but uh, I thought I would just include this. Okay, let's do a quick crimp. So, uh, this is really nice wire. This is from Temco. Um, look at that. That's a really nice wire. Um, it's quality. Um, recommendation once again from Will Prowse. Um, I ordered this directly from Temco. Actually, I did it through Amazon probably. Um, and that has been uh, giving me really nice crimps every time I've used it. So, the crimping tool itself is a little bit fiddly. Um, what I do is I put the crimp, the actual lug, into the device. And I'm going to bring it down die down until it just starts to grip 
I'm making sure that that is nice and flat. So if you look at this, here's the crimp ready. I'm going to pop the wire into here, making sure all the wires are in. Hold it in firmly. And I'm going to just pump this down until these are almost touching, that you're going to feel it snag up tight. You don't want to overdo it. Release the pressure. And there is a nice, tight, solid crimp. Now maybe I could have pushed that in a little bit more. And, but by the time I put the shrink on that, it's going to be a nice looking crimp. Okay, so uh, this is the end of the second video. And uh, please stay with me uh, for the third video. Um, and uh, this will be how we finally put uh, all this together. Um, I appreciate you uh, taking the time to watch this.